XPacker isn't the only way that you can um, create an executable for Rebel. In fact, you can use any sort of zip um, program that is capable of creating self-extracting self exec self executables, or SFX files. Um, uh, one easy one to use is called stubbyman.sfx. There's a, a link there that you can use to, to download it. And it does basically the same thing as uh, as Xpacker X, except it doesn't uh, allow you to create a um, an icon. Um, Xpacker X is the most uh, most complete type of program of, the, of that sort. Um, other programs like Power Archiver, which is a, a popular free zip manager, that allows you to to create self-extracting zip files. And there's some directions here that that let you do it. We're not going to go through those right now, but um, tells you the menu items that you need to, to click, um, create and click actions and make exe and so forth. Uh, one thing you do want to be careful about is you're going to see here there's a little um, a little line when uh, when you select from these items overwrite files you're going to need to uh, do rebel.exe and then this is a little um, pipe symbol um, it's right above the um, left left-facing slash. Um, make sure that character gets in there or that won't work correctly. Uh, you can also create full um, you know full installs. Um, typically when you download a program you get a install package not just an executable but an install that puts it in your start menu and so, so forth. And there are a variety of uh, free tools that let you create in those installation packages. And again they they uh, grab all of your files and they put them into a, a package and then they let the user decide where they want to put those files and program files, that sort of thing. Uh, this is my favorite uh, and this is SFX tool. Um, but there are a variety of other free ones. This is a simple one. PackX2 is a very quick and easy one. Um, if you're on another operating system, you're going to need to um, um, not use one of the Windows programs. Everything discussed so far is a Windows program. Um, for example, on Linux, um, you need to create uh, a TGZ file, um, a TARD um, gzip file that contains all of your scripts, um, any external sound or, or images that you're using in your script, just like you did for, uh, for XPAC or X. Get all those things together. Um, and for the case in this example below, we're going to call that file rebel underscore files dot uh, taro gzip and um, and then we need to save this script file as sh underscore commands and we just type this in and finally create um, another tar or a, a script actually that con contains that tar gzip file together with the above script, and we do that by concatenating. Use this command cat the uh, text file above, which we call sh commands, and then the tar file that we created that contains the rebel interpreter and all of our files, and pipe that into rebel underscore program dot sh. Um, if you're a user of Linux, you'll be familiar with uh, needing to um, set the permissions for that sh program. Um, you can just distribute that, that to your uh, users and make sure that it's um, uh, turned into an executable program, which you can do by typing this in. Uh, ch mod it. Um, and there's some more information about how to do this at this article at this link. It tells you everything in detail about how to do that uh, that process.